I should have filled these up after I solitate the fronts because I solitate the fronts because sometimes they fall out and also these are card boxes so as you can see uh, they do when you pull them out because enamel pins are heavy when you pull them in and out these rip so I like to reinforce them and it also keeps this pin in place but I should have done that after I've still got the gaudy pins to organise but hello guys welcome to the shop launch vlog so we are in the crunch to our awesome launch it feels like we've been working on this for ages doesn't it but we are actually ahead so we've got two more days until the shop update and today is photography day and organization day to get it all on the shelves get all the SKU sorted out get all the pins sorted because normally I'm not kidding when I do a shop launch launch all of this is laid out and we have to do it after the shop launch like we have to organize it but i want to get ahead of schedule have everything laid out ready for the launch to go live and have everything all ready on the computer ready to go live on tuesday afternoon it's currently sunday we have been working this weekend to make sure i don't have like a really stressful time like every other launch obviously launches are always quite stressful when you're in the run to get everything done and ready and wrapped up uh, but i just wanted to make sure i came in at the weekend so it was much more smooth than our previous shop launches you definitely learn from your mistakes if you haven't watched those definitely go check out the different launches we get i feel like we're getting better and better slowly and Proving as we get ahead of time one thing I have decided not to launch is our print-on-demand apparel because I do want to order some samples before I just risk it and put them online with shop launches the reason I now do timed shop launches and an announcement is because some things sell out so I found that when I was just releasing things and I was like oh shop update people will have missed it and missed the items that they wanted to get but I don't know if this will happen in this launch I don't think it will I'm going to organize all the enamel pins but we have run out of of one space on the enamel pin shelf and these boxes. Let's organize all these pins, shall we? Honestly, when Dean's packing orders and he does this, the sound, I can't even explain, it goes right through me. It like sends shivers down my spine. I don't even know what it is. Does anyone know how to make it sound less obnoxious? It's horrible. It just, I don't know what it is. It just really goes through me. I wish you could get a silent tape sent, so let's try it slowly. I think it's just a solid tape. Ugh. Makes me feel sick. Thank you. 
want some mint sauce. Before I put the enamel pins away, I need to round the corners of the backing card, so I've got all these to round. I'm going to do that. They all look like they've sent me different sizes. Look at the pile. Look like they've sent me different quantities, which is very strange. Uh, but I am going to corner all these and then put them all away and find a space somewhere. We also need to arrange all of these stickers, corner cut them, arrange the thank you cards, corner cut them. I am in love with this um, month's thank you card. I think it looks so, so cute. Uh, it'll soon be Christmas as well. <laughs> I'll need to get to work on the Christmas ones. Um, they normally go in this basket, so these Wow! What have I just done there? These will be discontinued. I need to clean that now. And Dean is just over here. What are you doing, Dean? Pastel witch stickers. So this is the new pastel witch mouse mat. Check out all those bad boys. <laughs> rounded all the new clothing tags all the big backing cards all the enamel pins so we still have all of those to go but i'm going to get dean to do that and i'm going to round some thank you cards as well before i put them away so oh, a little bit more to go We've run out of enamel pin shelving. We actually custom built these to fit the enamel boxes. It was like a standard shelf, but then we added extra shelves. Uh, but we've run out. So, well, technically I could probably squeeze a few in here. Yeah, we could squeeze a few in here. Or I could actually add a shelf to this maybe. And I just don't want the best sellers to be down here, but I could move some of the slow old first gen pins down i think i'm gonna to have to clear the shelf i'm like delaying the inevitable but i'm probably just gonna to have to move this from one place to another for now i'm just gonna dump all this in there then and then we'll get round to possibly cleaning it one day but we probably won't it'll probably just become like kind of like the version of the rubbish drawer in your house it's probably gonna become one of them
All right, my logic behind this is this is going to be a big pin corner. I want to do this properly. I wish the wa this wasn't really here. I suppose actually, now that I think about it, I think you can move this metal box maybe down and we can put a shelf in here that goes across so it's all our pins, but we'll do that in the future. We don't need to do that yet. But I've moved the Sakura pins up to the top shelf from the Sakura collection. And these are all part of collectible series. So I'm keeping them all together. We have got Bumblebutt all together over here on a different shelf. But I'm going to keep them in the series. And then on this top shelf, we have a Sakura uh, full pack here. And what I'll do is I'll put the Pastel Witch and the Gordo full pack on the top over here. And then label them all up. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. But now I actually really need to get to work on product photography. It's quarter past two. I want to wrap up all the product photography by uh, 5 p.m. And then I'll edit the photographs, if I feel like it, at home tonight. So let's get to work, shall we? Well, the sun has actually come out in the studio today. I've got this light that I'm going to use. But I think I have decided I'm going to come over into my section and take photos here because we're listening to <laughs> fall time around Disney at the minute. I'm going to take photos here because look how beautiful, sorry it's a bit bright, look how beautiful the lighting is. I can also take pictures of my mouse mat here and then I'll set up here and I think I'll just, yeah, use my backing cards as normal. I might move all the pens as well and take some product photography. The only thing with doing natural light is the light can go in and out, uh, but we should be okay. not very cold because it keeps going in and out of sunshine. guys we have one day until launch day and i still need to take some photos i managed to do all the pastel witch photos and now i need to do the final bits which are the autumn pins so i need to do that and for the photo props i was shopping in sainsbury's last night and i found these little munchkin um pumpkins this one's called a baby ghost munchkin pumpkin how cute is that and this one's called just munchkin pumpkin and i thought these look like the most perfect pumpkins i've ever seen so i'm actually going to use these as photo props because i think they look adorable anyway i actually think i've decided to add a product last minute um i've realized that putting the dog in his little awesome outfit hasn't really being put on anything else other than the enamel pins which i totally forgot about because i already had like the gordo stickers i forgot to make pudding into a sticker sheet i suppose i could actually release that next year but then i was thinking i could do a little cute god mug for him and stuff but but it'll add more stress and i only have a few more images to take photos of and then i'll have to print them photograph them I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. I can't. Mike, what do you think I should do? Should I quickly add pudding to like the mugs and stuff? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, I'll make pudding into a glass tumbler and an art print. Ah, let's get to work, shall we?
okay I'm just about to go on my lunch break but I thought I would show you some of the bits that we have added to this launch so Dean's currently like printing them all right now we have two put in the dog mouse mats one in a circle and one in a square my designs are getting a lot more bold and i think it just it looks nicer on the desk as a product then we have two bumble butt ones for those who don't want one of the large mouse mats but maybe don't have the space but want to get some pastel witch ones we have a, a wonderful day and a wonderful day here with all the little mushrooms and stuff we're currently printing some coasters and some more mugs these are gonna be so cute i can't wait to show you these ones but look how cute these ones look <gasps> oh my gosh these might be my favorite mugs yet look at that we're currently just printing large ones as well but these pink handle ones look so cute i love it and then we've got bumblebutt over here with different pastel witch designs on it and then ta-da they look so so good i think eventually it would be good to invest in because i like a big mug of tea like this i think i would look into that and see if we can get a big pink handle but ah, bumble butt on the witch broom is like a vibe i absolutely love it <laughs> nearly 5 p.m and i think i'm gonna go home because the launch is tomorrow and i still haven't edited the photographs that i've taken <laughs> this has set me back adding those put in the dog um designs has set me back but i'm glad i did it because i think they look really really cute and i also added an extra bumblebutt pastel witch mouse mat to the launch but i've just realized something extremely important i've actually put all my photography stuff away tidied up behind me as you can see and remembered i forgot to take photos of the actual main product for the launch which is the mouse mat so i'm gonna take these products and then maybe i'm gonna go home and start the edit of the product listing photos and um, so that i'm ahead I, if i didn't do those new products i would have had them all up by now but never mind everything is always a rush towards product launch i'm gonna take a photo of these and then i'm gonna go Studio home super early this morning Oh, I've just ran upstairs, but look how dark it is. I know it's early in the morning, but it's really gloomy and rainy outside. It's very cosy in autumnal. This is actually such a cosy vibe, but I literally have an eye twitch because last night I could hardly sleep. I've been up since 6 a.m. And obviously I was doing work on my laptop last night and I couldn't believe, whoa, I'm tripping over all the stuff on the floor. I couldn't believe when I went to edit all those photos that my camera settings were wrong. Basically, what I did was I used my other camera, not this full frame camera, which I regret now. And I had this color profile set up on my camera number one. But number two, I have an ND filter on the big lens that I've got because it's a Sigma Art Lens 1.4 and I really like the blurry background it gives. However, I forgot that the ND filter was on it and it was on all the way to the max, which meant my auto ISO was cranked right up which means all my images are really noisy they've got a lot of grain on them and it looks terrible oh i spent like two days photographing them as well and i think another thing because the light was coming in and out and i don't have a studio set up anymore i'm just not happy with the photos at all but i think what i'm going to do is i am going to sit down or stand up because i'm on my standing desk uh, and I am going to keep editing some of the photos, make sure that I list the items and then go back to edit the photos. So at least then I know my products are up on the start and ready to go. Uh, sorry about the weird glow, I'm keeping the light off because it's like a cosy vibe in here. But at least then I know the products are up and listed and then I can add some better quality photos. I'm just really, really gutted because I really thought I was ahead of this launch this time. I thought I would actually get everything done yesterday and I thought, oh, 
We're gonna get there tomorrow because my goal is for launches in the future not wait till the day of the launch to upload the products because every time it becomes really stressful and I felt like I was really on top of it until I decided to add some products last minute. I need to like breathe. <laughs> I like ran up the stairs. I'm gonna finish editing those uh, photos, upload the photos. I've gave myself till 12 p.m. which gives me five hours left to photograph everything. And there's also some products that I didn't get done. I wish I could duplicate myself sometimes, honestly. Right, I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> I'm still just editing my video here and I wanted to show you the new DTFs that have come. So we're actually going to sell these. I don't know if we're doing it in this launch or not, uh, but look at these. But these will be on tote bags because we print our own tote bags. How cute does that look? I actually have my own jumpers over here to be honest these are a bit too big the cream one will look the best look at this um so you can print it yourself if you've got a jumper at home you do need a proper heat press for it though oh my goodness my neck and my shoulder on my mouse side is absolutely killing me i keep trying to get up and like stretch it and i keep like changing from sitting to standing it's currently half past two we have not got long to launch now and i'm just uploading the products on my website i managed to edit all the product photos luckily but i've edited over 500 <laughs> listing photos i think the photos that i wanted to reshoot I'm just going to have to deal with it for now because I just don't have time before the launch, I don't think. Uh, so now, without further ado, I'm just going to get straight to work and upload them all and hope that everything syncs up. So I'm currently just using my little to-do list that I normally use and I'm putting down all the things I need to list and then uh, I'm literally taking them off as I'm going. All right, I'm freaking out a little bit because we literally have... Uh, 40 minutes until we go live and i'm still uploading listings last time i had mike in but because we normally do it on a sunday our launch um we like get in together but it's a tuesday today so i am literally uh trying to frantically get it up i honestly thought i was on top of this launch and well it's totally my fault for um, adding new products also the tote bags look really good but I'm going to show you that in a little bit because this is what I need to focus on right now wish me luck guys oh my gosh there's nine minutes to go and I'm frantically trying to like create a new banner and stuff I mean it's not the end of the world I've sorted out the navigation but I haven't got much time left come on we can do it we can do it the thing that I have an issue with we're literally going live in two minutes the thing I have an issue with is um, we have like an Etsy thing integrated and it's not going to go live on Etsy exactly at 5pm which is not fair for my European customers. EU customers can't uh, ship out on my store yet. I wish I could figure out a way to do this. If anyone has any um, tips or anything for this please please let me know because it's basically a problem with Brexit and the IOSS customs numbers it's going to cost us too much to file that over in Europe but with Etsy they already have the IOSS numbers in there so that's why we can sell still with Etsy but not on our own store. I'm gonna go live now. Wait how do I make it go live? Dean how do I press publish? Mike normally does this. Set as active. Okay set as active. Ah. This is scary. Okay. And now I'm just gonna go on the home page. It's now 84 people. Dean's giving me like a live um, rundown because uh, I'm still trying to navigate everything. So it's definitely better when Mike's in because he can like the, hang on, the pastel witch collection. Ah, the ticket's just going off. I forgot to record it. Uh, new glass tumblers, let's see if this works. We've got 74 active carts and 42 people checking out. Oh, and 22 purchase. Ah, oh, is that the ticket going off, Dean? It's going off, I wanna catch it. Oh, look, 1,898 so far. There it goes. Oh, we're in the one nine section. 
Wow, oh my gosh, that went up loads. I was expecting it just to go up one. Honestly, having your own online store is like the coolest thing ever, even though it's a little bit more stressful because you never really got this vibe when I was just on Etsy because they like don't have like a live tracker and a live ticker and it's always really, really exciting. But we are going to try and figure out how to get it on Etsy. Mike is actually going to come in. He was like, you should have rang me earlier. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I didn't want to bother you. Holy smokes, it's going up. This is crazy. So this is what I've been working on. I've changed my website so it is all like browns and cozy for autumn. I changed it on the theme and then published it. That's what I was kind of like panicking and doing. This was my little to-do list uh, that I was ticking off as I was going down. I actually ticked all of this off and then realized I'd missed uh, the sticker pack off, uh, the Primrose sticker pack off. So I added that. Um, it's just so handy to write like a to-do list and I was using my mild liners and pens. It's just been so cozy. It's the perfect autumnal vibes. It's not 9.29 by the way, it's 6 p.m. So say hi Mike. Mike's come in, he's just troubleshooting with Dean on the Etsy store. We managed to get the Etsy listings up. We've had a problem with, I think, three uh, listings. Um, so they should be up so no one hopefully missed out on the mouse mats and the glass glasses and mugs and stuff. Yay! Yeah, I'm glad I managed to do it. Actually, you know, I said that the photography was really, really bad. I think once I've seen it on my website, it's not it's not so bad like the, yeah, i think i was just being really over dramatic and um, they actually didn't look too bad at all on the website and we've been getting sales for them so eventually i do want to change it i can't actually believe oh yeah i said i'd show you the uh, new um tote bag to be honest i think we might need to get white tote bags because i feel like this would work better for this design uh but we have a magical or a wonderful day tote bag there we've got witching for the weekend of bumble butt and the best one ta -da, is the gorgeous one these smell like biscuits they smell so good uh have a gorgeous day i think when i make apparel for this i'm going to change this pink to a brown color so it's like a brown palette and get it on a brown sweater but speaking of sweaters i want to press this one on this one and this one on this one. I think I'm going to do witching for the weekend on this one. Dean will also be busy tomorrow making a bunch of tumblers because I added this last minute. So these were the ones he made last night and obviously we already had like all these laid out ready uh, and all the mouse mats are ready but we didn't have the guard ones ready. I've just noticed the order counter. Do you know what we have to do though? Um, we have to take the pins home to do the pin collection sets so they're ready for Mike just to um, like ship out because I don't want him like wasting time like popping pins on them. And a huge, huge thank you for all your love and support as always. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and the shop up launch vlog. They always seem to do quite well so I think you guys like seeing it and seeing the craziness that goes into it beforehand. I'll see you in the next one. Alright then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye.